Granite Ridge Greens, March 29th, 2022. And the tenants are gone. They left a mess. He kind of swept up, but we've been vacuuming, scrubbing, and cleaning all day. They wonder why they had most mice into our building. Well, when you have food underneath the fish tank and the love seat and stuff, I'm, I'm sure mice enjoy that. That's why all their poop was under there. Anyways, I had to throw in another mattress. Is it a Serta or something? Um, I don't know. I gotta spin it over. Yeah. See the Serta sign? Yeah. Almost a brand new mattress. Eight year old son, autistic peed all over it. And now it's garbage. Two months we let him stay here. Two months. Anyways, you can't help people that can't help themselves. And I don't think I'm going to help. I'm a helper. I like helping people. I'm not doing too bad right now. A little old to be doing what I'm doing, but I'm not doing all too bad. And I thought I'd give someone a hand up, but uh, you just get a kick in the nuts from people at times. Anyways, I think they're going to go in and see the, the chickadee chickadees. Hi, chickadee chickadees. Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm going to open the door so we can see something here. If it'll open, it could still be oh, it's frozen. Try it again. There we go. There we go. Hi, Gary. How's it going? Hey, Mr. Gary. What are you doing? Hey? Where's your girlfriend? What are you doing in there? You coming out? Hey? Hey, Lucky? Making lots of noise. Yeah. Got him a new bale yesterday. These used to be, I believe I was wrong on the price I asked him yesterday. They're $6.49. Now they're $8.49. So, like almost 10 bucks with HST and whatever else the liberals are going to stick up our ass. Anyways, life in Canada. No wanted to stand up for the rights for the last 25 years. You know, go party, buy boats, have fun, get your skidoos and stuff. And no one's been paying attention to politics. And I have a friend, Dennis. Dennis writes all the time. He's not really getting anywhere because, well, nobody else cares. Until our taxes go up or our gas goes up or, you know. Someone adds a carbon tax, it's not going to help a child whatsoever, but it's just the way it is. They're going to do what they want. They, they took uh, money from another country, and there's new money in this country now. They thought it was going to be their savior, but <laughs> I think they're a little scared now of who they took the money off of. Yeah. No one pays any attention to politics. Oh, I don't want to pay attention to that. It's, it not, you can't do anything anyways. Well, if you don't do anything, then you can't do anything. <laughs> that is right. You can't do anything. If you don't do anything, you know, and you let it all go, and you lose all your rights and privileges that our grandfathers and grandmothers and the family went to war over, and women's lib, and indigenous rights, black rights, the whole bit, you know. I don't know, it seems like we're giving up a lot. And yeah, we, we do have that, but to a, to a point. And there's always one small percentage of rich people saying what happens in this world. I'm kind of glad that I'm not 20 or 25 with children and stuff. You know, it's a different world now. They kind of want it where everybody's got the same and... There will be a few hierarchies running it all, but they want everybody to have the same and do the same and do what they're told. And now they're halfway there, folks. You've let it go that far that there's not too much control you can do. There's a couple of spots in Toronto now. All imported there. All bought houses with good money. And now, you can't get the Liberals out of power because they're a stronghold. 
Liberals left them in the country, sold us out. So do so 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 the PCs, don't get me wrong. They left them the rights attached to the same bird people. There's only one, there's only one set of uh, people running things in this world. And uh, they don't eat at McDonald's, people. <laughs> and believe me, they don't eat at McDonald's at all. They got it all sewed up. And then some richer ones come along, and you know what? Those richer ones, I don't think uh, the, all, the elite have taken a look at who they got in bed with. Yeah, remember 9 11? You think that wasn't all orchestrated? <laughs> Boy. And they called me a, cons a, a, theor a, a, a conspiracy, a con conspiratist thought for me. Oh, you don't know what you're talking, you're just going extreme type of thing. You know, that's never going to happen to anybody. And uh, look at all the stuff that's happened now. You're not even able to vote um, someone out of power anymore. Because there's a couple places. Newfoundland always votes liberal. Because they get all the free perks. They think if they don't get the liberal perks, that they can't make it, right? It's not that they like the liberals. They, <laughs> it's that they get more money from them. So they're going to vote that way, right? Or they, they think they're going to starve like they did 50 years ago or whenever they joined uh, Canada. I don't know if that was such a wise idea. Same with Quebec and that, you know. But Quebec's done pretty good. They get more of a percentage of the G GDP, is it, than anybody else, so. Anyways, what are you guys doing? You're supposed to be in the camera. Yeah, what the heck's going on, man? Lucky's over here. Pecking away at the styrofoam. What are you doing, you silly bird? Yeah? And there's Mr. Gary over there saying, what the F? Hey, what the F, big, big guy? Oh, feel that cold air? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Boyds. We need to close that. That's rude, dude. Hey? Yeah? Is that rude, dude? Yeah? Yeah, uh, Mr. Gary, I thought Mr. Gary crow for us. That's what he usually does to me. I just texted my friend and telling her, Mr. Gary, we gotta go clean out their poop and everything. Look at him getting in spots he's not supposed to, eh? Look at that, eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't say? You're pretty noisy today, girl. I'm glad you're out. Yeah. Uh, let's go see what you're going to do with your water. Let's go see. Is that going to stay there? Good. Here's Mr. Gary in there. Hey, Mr. Gary. Yeah. I'm just going to leave you like that. I don't know. You're going to listen to Lockheed. Come on. Get over there. Get your buns moving, yeah. You guys, they don't want you coming out here yet. Yeah. If Gary gets away, I'm gonna have to chase him around with a rake and get him back, so. I'm gonna go get you some water. Let me play with your buddy.
Are you showing off in front of the camera, hey? Mr. Gary's off to the side of you there, yeah? I got you some water, this stuff's not frozen. So yeah, back to what I was saying earlier about some people just don't know what side the bread's buttered on. I tried wholeheartedly to help two people now and kind of got stuff back in my face. Oh, we don't want to live the way you lived. Um, nobody should have to live that way. I don't know. We made it. I got hurt. I got screwed by WSIB, uh, the, well, the former WCB. Now I lost almost $300,000 during apprenticeship. I lost my house. So we went to Alcona and I re-injured my back and they wouldn't cover me because the rehabilitation plan was wrong, which I proved in court later. But that didn't matter, everything was gone by then. So I did my own rehab plan and then I re-injured my back and they wouldn't help me at all. So we sold in Alcona and we moved up to Bancroft to the 46 acres off-grid with a crappy old log home, which fell down and that's a whole other story. I tore uh, the place apart. We took the roof while I was out installing the solar. Just took all the nails out of the boards and stuff. I used the... Uh, the top part of the roof, the trusses, I guess you call them, the upper beams. And uh, 
Like I said, she pulls all the nail out of them. We were living in a 28 foot Terry trailer because the log house foundation gave out. That's another story. It was kind of the dream that died. And then uh, we went on from there and I built a 12 by 15 foot uh, two floor emergency shelter cabin and we ended up living in it for eight and a half years. No running water, nothing, just you know, about uh, half a kilowatt of solar at 12 volts, nothing special. Kind of a joke in today's society and off-grid community. Most people are putting in 8, 10, 15 kilowatts of power at 12 volts and uh, that much even at 48 volts if you're a little bit smarter and don't go for a 12 volt system. But if you have all 12 volt appliances, I can see you can, you can take a center tap or a tap off some of the batteries and stuff depending on the voltage that you buy and uh, lead acid isn't worth it anymore but uh, yeah so we've decided not helping I'm not helping anybody anymore I've uh, I've been given the finger once too often and been treated like crap and stuff when you try to give people stuff so I try to help them out like I said hey some people hey stop stop and you behave too you see them sparring off there you guys behave yourself. Yeah. Just friggin' behave yourself. He's just trying to be domineering, that's all. Yeah. You guys behave yourself. So I've been cleaning up and looks like uh, I got a couple of beds that are bad, so they're going out. And uh, we're going to go, uh, I guess we're going to go Airbnb. Or I'm I'm going to because I'm running it. I run the show here, so I'm going Airbnb. Um, I'm going to build that trailer over in that other bay over there. Still sitting there. I offered the fella to give me some help with that, and I'd I bought it. It's my money, and I'd split the profits with them after whatever we spent to fix it up. And there it is, sitting right in that bay. Thirty foot. You can. It's a thirty-five foot old Terry trailer. I'd say it's from the maybe 60s or 70s, I don't know, I haven't checked the plate. If you look across the bottom, this is just going to screw it up, but across that bottom, that block piece where the tongue is, that's true I-beam uh, construction. It's what they used to do with trailers. And it has a little bit of flex to it, but you stand on the floor in there, even sitting on the tires, all she can do is bounce the thing up and down on the tires. The floor doesn't flex, so I don't know, I might go two floors. If I go two floors, you can see uh, <laughs> I maybe got three or four feet, so I have to build the bottom section, tarp it in, get it all ready, get all the pieces put together, and then uh, you guys going at it again, hey? Eh? Boy, oh boy! And then uh, get the walls and everything ready for a couple nice days, and get it up and get a roof on it. It's windy in here; it tear things apart. So I don't think it's leaving the property. I don't know if it's selling it, or maybe I'll try again with some. So a decent person, I don't care if it's uh, male or female, doesn't matter to me. You want to come and work on the farm, and uh, you're going to work for yourself, so you're going to need some sort of income until it gets going. Uh, I'm more into sharing profits or something like that. I can't pay you, and I'm not going to get into something like that and have to tell someone what to do and how many hours and stuff. It just, you want to come here and give a hand, you could end up in that living in that trailer at the back on some solar I got some solar lined up. I got some new friends. We're going to revamp their solar system. Then we're going to put up a cabin for them that they can rent out or an Airbnb again and uh, take some of the solar panels that are newer and better and build them a nice system. Put it on a good controller, good set of batteries off grid, off grid renting. You can get 120 to 150 a night for something that's ready to go like that. It's almost called dry camping is what it's called. And I'm going to put some trailer spots in to do that also. But anyways, nothing slows us down. We were slowed down for a couple weeks. My computer went, oh, it didn't go. It just had trouble booting up windows all the time. Sometimes I had to shut it off and turn it on. So if, if I'm right, it's called a can. There was a can gone in it. So anyways, it's uh, being repaired by a friend of mine, and I've got their laptop, so I've been able to download somewhat a little bit. 
I really don't like laptops because <laughs> every time I drag my thumb and I'm writing something, it takes it up into the middle of the of the paragraph, and then I'm writing in the middle of the paragraph, and then I looked up and I don't know where the hell I am. So, but here's our chicky chickens walking around. I don't know why you guys are starting to fight. You've been out here for not quite a week. You should be getting along and snuggling each other. Yeah. Hey, Gary. What do you think about that, Gary? You think it's time to relax a little bit? Hey, buddy? Yeah, you got any of those? That's what we came out here for. That was my special thing of the day, is to get Gary to go... Did you lose it a little bit? Hey? Yeah? You chucking sure for chickens that aren't supposed to know very much. You guys talk a lot, you know that? Yeah. Well, you're going to slide on that. You're supposed to walk up the rubber, you, rub you rubber head. What are you doing? Hey? Yeah? Don't worry, we're going to build you a little, a little coop. We're going to build a brooder coop over here. And uh, hopefully she lays her eggs. It's got the stand there, so I think I'm just going to pull that apart and make it wider. And then just pull it out. That'll be big enough. That's got to be, what, 9, 10 feet long. And take out the bolts. And I'm sure it looks like it's nailed too, but it's, thankfully someone only put one nail in it, so it should come apart easy. And just pull it out to the edge of the concrete, which is right there at the end of that tank. That should be wide enough for the brooding thing, and then I can come over again. I'd like to cut that window open. Someone lazily went around it and just... They didn't want you to see this block wall was starting to move. Uh, <laughs> I don't really care. I got a good deal in this place, and... Oh, well, it is what it is. I bought it the way it was. I bought as is, where is, blah, 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 right? But, uh, anyways. Just keep fixing her. Keep swinging. So we got to move all this. And I don't want to just move it. So I'm going to have to split all that. And I guess we're going to stack that somewhere in here. Looks like a bunch of junk came out of my place. These were the cushions to what the box is sitting on. That's actually a couch there. The styrofoam there, that's a couch there. That's a pull-out couch bed. And uh, it didn't smell too good. It was kind of musty from the house and stuff. House was musty when we moved in, so. Yeah. It did for them. I heard something back in there. We're supposed to have some critters in here. I hope not. The heck of come out with a pump-up 10... The pump up, what is it called? Pellet gun? I was going to say 12 gauge or something. Yeah, a pump up 12 gauge. Okay. But uh, no, I'm not losing it, honestly. Oh, uh, I chuck. Ah, uh, remember that? 